one were a little bit different because I added a number over here. So now the quartiles are, are a little bit different because when I pick the middle number in the quartile, it, but it's still somewhat similar because that number is similar strategy as the strategy of the median. And then quartile two, it's a it's same, same concept. And so there we have those. And then the average down here, if I take my sum of the average numbers now, if I recalculate the average, I take the sum, which now comes out to that of all the numbers instead of this, because the 1 million uh, increased it significantly. If I do a count, I come out to 52 instead of 51, because we added that $1 million number and the number of, and the how many numbers are here. And if I divide that out, that gets, that's how we get to our 89,354 versus the 71,498. Now, if I took this data set as well and I made a histogram from it, now this histogram, I purposely put all, this is like all the data from the prior histogram, which is kind of over here scrunched together. And I put all the buckets in here so that we can get that outlier. So that outlier is over here. So obviously this is not a histogram format that you would probably want to, to give to someone else or something. But I, the only reason I'm formatting it this way is to show this outlier really skewing things. So right, if you had, if you took your focal point, the, the me, the mean, it would be over here somewhere and that and that outlier like a teeter-totter is weighing way over on the on the right side which is which is why you get this this kind of uh impact now how can you deal with that with your histogram to make if you wanted to plot the data well there's a couple ways you could do that you could you could take all of your outliers anything that's over a certain dollar amount like say ninety thousand dollars you you put in as an outlier. And then in Excel, your histogram would then cut out all, you can cut out all these boxes and just include it over here at, uh, at the, at the 90,000. So that would mean that people looking at your histogram aren't going to get a sense of how extreme the outliers are. So again, you can see that as deceptive. So it depends on what you're doing, because if you, if you say, I just put everything that's an outlier over 90,000 in the outlier bucket, then you're going to get a histogram that shows you kind of the middle point better but that it doesn't tell you how extreme the outliers are which is fine because that that might be useful for for uh some cases you could you could take the outlier out of your data set and then take a histogram uh uh without the outlier so but those are some strategies to to put together uh, the histogram in Excel, which we do in Excel if you want to check that out.